Hey guys, how are you doing? We're going to talk about oil today, crude oil. And quick disclaimer before that, I don't think at the moment, especially in some sectors and some markets, um, we can rely on TA specifically, technical analysis, right? Things are definitely being moved uh, by the macroeconomical stuff happening, Russia, war, Ukraine, all this. But in the very shorter term, I think we can still find some interesting opportunities based on technical analysis. So as I said, we're looking uh, at oil. The first thing that we should be probably checking out is levels. And the level closest to us at the moment is this one. So I'll have it marked right there. Of course, we can see that without any indicators that the price stopped right here and pushed up, then pushed down, right? This is pretty much the zone where we see some kind of fighting. This is approximately 110, also psychological level. Besides that, I'm not going to talk about waves. I'm not going to talk about divergences or anything. This is purely based on price action. So I have a level. Uh, which is approximately inside this zone. We can, of course, extend the zone from here down to here because it's the entire thing. That's just the inner zone of it, the most dense zone. What I like about this one, the momentum that formed around these ecological levels, and this is um, close to 112 already, and then we have the consolidation. So in my opinion, very, very short term intraday opportunity, we can expect for the price to go ahead and push lower and create one more uh, drop. What I would like to see from the price doing in terms of invalidation is to hold this level. And this is 113 psychological level. All right. So let's see this one holding because otherwise, if we get something like that without breaking the high. I'm not very confident in this anymore. It's still tradable, but then the risk reward becomes different and all that. Okay. So if we manage to stay below this zone, if we get the breakouts to the downside, especially if we get the breakout below the 15 minute low right here, I think the risk reward. Uh, starts to make a lot of sense, right? And then we can go ahead and, of course, check out where the duplication is, at least for this thing. So that would be something like that. And then we have that zone, right? First of all, the swing low, which we would expect to be broken down. But if I measure it like this, we get 24, 25 versus 38 or so, okay, 39. So that's pretty much how I'm planning to um, handle this situation here. Let's see if it will deliver or not. If you have any questions, don't hesitate.